welcome everyone in this video we are going to discuss about a hello world http server welcome everyone in this video i will discuss how to create a very simple http server that will print hello world onto the browser window and we will be doing this using core node.js without using any modules so i currently have an empty directory over here let's go ahead and create a new file called as index.js basically you can name the file anything you want and let's get started in this index.js file so on the top we can just import the node.js http module and then after importing the node.js http module we can create an create an application using http module and finally after creating an application using http module we can start the server and make our application visible or available on some port okay so this is what i'm planning to do with my application so let's me go ahead and let's just go to view and toggle word wrap so you can see the complete text and this will be the idea of the complete application that we will be following and we will be creating it using node.js okay let's get started and let's work on the importing the module so import to import any module in node.js you just need to create a variable let's call it http so i created a variable http and inside that variable i will be storing something that will be um, that will be required by our by our node.js server so we will use the require which is a type of module import system we import modules in node.js using the uh, require function and then the name of the module will be passed inside the require function which is http in our case so http stands for hypertext transfer protocol it is some kind of protocol that enables users to communicate on the internet so let's say you want to visit www.youtube.com so the youtube.com web page data need to be transferred to your web browser via some kind of channel and that protocol or that channel by which the data is being transmitted is called as http so we will be using this transmission protocol in order for us to in order for our application to allow transmission over the internet so to create a server we just need to create another variable let's name it server and in this variable server we will be storing the result from http is uh, some kind of object that has properties such as create server so using the create server we can just go ahead and create a simple node.js server now the create server is a function which will take a callback and let's say we get a callback and as a callback we will be getting um, two things one will be a request object and another one will be a response object so this will be our server we create our server with the http dot create server function and then create server function will take a callback which is which will provide us with a request and a response object the request object contains information about the user's web browser or the session which the user has initiated let's say the user visits our web browser so the request sent by the web browser is present inside this request object and any details that we want to send back to the web browser will be provided by via the response object so let's uh, for the simple thing let's return the 
response dot end and let's write the hello world as an example